I have my SNES here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it apart, and I'm going to try to mod it. Um, I picked up, I went to the Let's Play Gaming Expo in Dallas, Texas over the weekend. Uh, also uh, part of, that's where Kumite in Tennessee, excuse me, Kumite in Texas was held. Uh, ran by the people who run Kumite in Tennessee. I picked up Street Fighter 2, the original cartridge. I have Street Fighter 2 uh, Turbo as the SNES cartridge. Uh, but this is my first Super Famicom game, the original Street Fighter 2. It only cost me five bucks, believe it or not, so I had to get it. And I saw it and I was like, man, I'm going to pick that up. Five bucks? Can't pass that up. So I got it. And uh, But yeah, we're going to. Uh, Move down here to stick cam right quick, and as you can see, here's my SNES. And, uh, well, put this in there. Can't get it in. So, uh, there's two tabs inside the SNES that keep you from. It, it, it sort of just region locks the console. I'm actually going to move the camera over here maybe for a better view. Hopefully. Uh, let's put this down a little bit. So, uh, region locks the console. Let's see if you can see them here and here. Maybe, maybe not. It's a little dark. If I... Well, there's just two tabs. Let me see if I can feel them. Uh, yeah, that's one I got my finger on right here. Let's see if I can pull the camera closer. You can see the tabs themselves. Yeah, there you go. You see one of the tabs, and there's another one on the other side, just like it. About where my finger is, right there. Yeah, you can see it right there. So cool. So yeah, uh, I'm gonna take the console apart. I got a, uh, I got a file here. Uh, what else do I got? I have. Uh, let's put this back over here. Maybe get a, a wider angle. I got a file. I have a chisel, which hopefully I wanted to use. I don't really uh, know how safe that would be uh, using the chisel, but I got a file. And I have a pair of pliers. Uh, maybe I and I have a box of tools right here beside me too. So maybe I could, if that doesn't work, I could um, use maybe a razor blade in there to start it or something. But yeah, we'll uh, get this taken apart and we'll see what we can do with it. So here we go. Uh, I'm gonna put it upside down like this. Oh, and most importantly, I have this uh, this bit right here. This is a uh, Nintendo bit from, I got mine off of eBay, which eh, it costs like two bucks, I think. I got this one and a smaller one. Uh, the smaller one does like uh, cartridge games or uh, maybe Game Boy games and stuff and maybe some of the older games. Uh, the bigger one does the consoles. So put that in there and uh, we'll uh, start digging here. Oh man, I hope I don't have to take off these rubber feet. I really don't want to do that. Hopefully it's just these six screws, I think, right here. So, Let's see if I can get a better angle for this camera here. I, uh, let's go with that. Did I not get it far enough off? Yeah, I've never uh, taken this console apart, so this has uh, been sealed since the 90s, so ain't no telling what kind of stuff's in it. And I don't, it doesn't seem like that screw wants to come out. Uh, we'll leave that one alone. We'll move on to the next one. Let's go for this side now. Perhaps they, uh, that's a pretty deep, uh, corridor right there. So maybe they just stay in there. 
and I'm fine with that if they just stay in there because then that would actually kind of work out a little easier for me. Or maybe I just didn't. Yeah, it seems like they might just stay in there. I don't know if I just didn't screw it far enough or what. But yeah, you can see right there. See, it's pretty much loose and all the way out. Two loosened, and if they don't come out, then well, we'll have to go from there and see where what, what we can do. Perhaps uh, have to screw more or something. Okay. Oh no, it's cool. It's gonna come apart. It seems. I might need to. Unscrew a little bit more over here. I'm trying to be very, very careful as this thing works. I do not want it to not work. That would be not good. So, yeah, all right, let's see if that does it here. Hold on. Let me mute this. Give me a second, guys. My bad. All right, cool. Let's uh, let's crack this bad boy open. I've taken the screws. I've loosened them all. So, um, yeah, hopefully, I'll be very careful while opening this. One side's pretty loose. The other side it doesn't want to come. So this is the side that doesn't really want to come very well. You know what? I bet it'd probably be better if I flipped it over. Let's flip it back over. Oh, one of the screws did come out. Which one was that? Okay. 
So, all right. <clears throat> well, that's more than one actually. I'm missing two now. But the point is, we've got it apart. All right, cool. Ugh. Oh, screws are dropping. There's three. Let's see. Oh my goodness, it's so dirty in here. Of course it is. It hasn't been cleaned and or ever opened. So we'll do some cleaning while we're in there as well. All right, let's see, that's five, and there should be one more screw. Maybe it's stuck in there. Is it? Uh, yeah, it's in there still. Okay, cool. Well, that was a bad idea. <laughs> oh, man. Got got. Got got in the eye. Eep. All right. So, let's see. So we'll take uh, little dust bunnies and whatnot. Try to get them out. I don't have any compressed air, unfortunately, so I'm just going to have to blow and uh, use my fingers here to try to get some of this stuff clean. But that's not the idea why we're in here. The whole idea why we're in here to get those uh, hold on okay yeah get these uh, two tabs out of here which I, I, I don't guess I need to take this part at all for doesn't look like I could have well no it's probably better that I did probably easier to get to it that way All right, so what can we do here? I figured I'd use a nail file, or I say a nail file. Shit, this file is not a nail file. This is one big metal file that uh, I had in the garage, but um, I don't see that working out. Um, let's see. I have a razor blade. Let's see if I can get that and what I can do with it. Say a razor blade. This is not a razor blade. It's a box cutter. <clears throat> Should do the trick though. Hopefully, we'll see if we can't get in there. Really, I might end up just taking these. Uh, this screw, this screw. Maybe what this one. Maybe that'll pull that whole piece off. That bottom holster piece. Oh, I can't even open the damn thing now. What happened there? Oh, that's why. Oh, neat. That this right here, this lever right here, it will make it to where you can't open the the door there. Yeah, we'll see if we can't get to it without doing that. I just uh, using this razor blade at an angle. See if we can't cut these tabs down like that and then use the pliers to get them the rest of the way off If I can't go from the top ways, maybe. I'm trying to unreach and lock my console. You know what? It probably would be better if I used a screw and took that piece off. So, screwdriver. So, let's uh, dig out a screwdriver. Phillips head looks like we need. 
<clears throat> what am I doing to my SNES? Oh no! Looks like I'm breaking it. I know what I do, and I promise I do. I do know what I'm doing. I'm uh, modding it, Smitten, so I can put in a Super Famicom game that I got at the expo, which I need to clean with alcohol. And I'm, I'm just cleaning all in, in general. Look, see dust bunnies and stuff. I'm trying to get a little bit more clean inside. It's never been opened. With pliers, yeah, see, I have pliers here. Uh, I don't know if, uh, I kind of want to cut them first to make them a little bit looser. Hadn't tried the pliers yet. Might just go in with pliers. Let's try that first before we take, uh, take that little chassis out. There. I don't want to break nothing. Yeah, I don't know if I can. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to make that work. <clears throat> oh, what, what, what? Maybe, maybe, maybe. Yeah, I did something. I bent it for sure. Maybe I can just get it out with these. Oh yeah, look, there goes one. There's one of the region lock tabs. Cool. Pliers will do the job just like that, eh? Alright, so that's one. Do you do more retro console or computing stuff? Uh yeah, man. I um I'm I play retro games. I also play uh newer games as well. Um uh, is it? Uh, it's raining outside. That's why it's good to stay inside and uh, mod this console right now. Which this is, uh, I mean, this isn't really software mod. This is a hardware mod, obviously. Which I recommend if you're gonna do, you gotta be very, very careful. Yeah, you know, I might actually uh, use the razor blade again or the uh, box cutter I have do I, did I have fun in Dallas uh, yeah it was a lot of fun uh, that's one of the reasons why I'm taking this apart because at the let's play gaming expo I did pick up this for five bucks Super Famicom Street Fighter 2 the original cartridge it was eight he had a, a price of eight on it but um, since it was the last hour and a half of the expo or last hour he was like I'll take five on it I was like man I can't pass this up <laughs> so I picked it up I also picked up uh, the original Rockman 2 which he had 30 on but I picked it up for 20 it's in pretty good shape it's uh, got a little ding on it or a little uh, grease spot like right under my thumb I don't know if you can see that or not but yeah so now I've got to order either an original Famicom which would be awesome or I can get a converter for 12 bucks um, yeah I placed ninth in the Killer Instinct tournament out there I placed third in uh, Primal Rage so that was pretty neat let's see if I can cut this tab a little bit or make the plastic a little weaker like I did with the other one by, uh, I'm sorry, uh, it's hard to angle the camera and hold the tools at the same time. Let's see if I can get in there a bit. Alright, just like that. Cut it. Cut it. Cut it. Try to weaken this plastic. Yeah, after I'm done with this, I'm going to take apart the game, make sure it's real, and not a, a repro or anything, uh, but I mean five bucks for a repro wouldn't be bad, I don't suppose. Alright, 
Maybe that'll do it. We'll see. Let's get our pliers back out and start wiggling. Uh-oh, maybe. And there it is. It's the other one. Goodbye, region lock. Let's see. Uh, it's pretty clean, actually, to be honest. Uh, I'm kind of happy with how that uh, turned out. It didn't... Uh, Scar hardly anything. I don't know if. Let me see if I can get the camera in there in that little slot there. Um, what was the slot? There it is. Uh, let's see those uh, those pins are those plastic uh, tabs are gone. Yeah. Please forgive shoddy camera work, but you can see they're gone. Now let's uh, put this SNES back together. Make sure it's as clean as possible. Uh, like I said, I don't have uh, any compressed air. So we're, all I can really do is just uh, try to make sure I have a dry mouth and, and use my fingers to kind of get some of this dust about 25, 30 year old dust out of here. But it would be, of course, more ideal if you had compressed air to blow it out and uh, perhaps some sort of cleaning agent if you're, uh, if you don't mind. I don't know, I think alcohol would do alright, like rubbing alcohol. I do have isopropyl alcohol, but I'm not going to use it on the board. Uh, or anything like that I'm just gonna I'm fine with just using my fingers to get the dust out <laughs> all right that's that's about that's about good enough I'd say a lot of the dust is gone all right so let's uh, replace this right here Try to make sure it lines up right all right yep and that's <laughs> that's good because when I turned this on, the little red light, indicator light, uh, it still had a little juice on it and it blinked really quick. So, yeah. So that's nice. Uh, I flipped this back over. I uh, left one screw in there. So we'll go ahead and start with that one. And the other five came out. Alright, that thing's already snug. But yeah, let's drop these uh, screws back in. We'll, we'll uh, go symmetrical. So if we start there, we'll come to this one and then we'll do the four outside screws. Do, 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 do. this corner treat it like a car if you ever uh, messed with tires on a car you go from one lug nut to the next one instead of kind of to keep things even you don't necessarily have to do that but it seems to work out and save a lot of trouble in the long run so and then we'll go up to this one All right, that one's in there, and our last screw here. Get that taken care of. I'll have this big nail fall out like I was going to do something with it. <laughs> uh, well, 
I didn't know what I was expecting here. If pliers would do the trick or so I mean I grabbed pliers too. But yeah, so that should do it. There's the uh, two tabs right there that region locked the console. The console should be region free now. Oh, it works. It'll fit in there. Hey, what's up, Jack O? Yeah, it was a great trip. I tried my best to keep uh, keep the extra money, man, but I ended up spending uh, a good amount of it. I've got a uh, I've got like five bucks left. If you want me to send you five bucks back, I'll do it. I, I could probably maybe get a little bit more than that, hopefully, to send back if you'd like. Uh, but yeah, it was a good trip. Uh, I got ninth. Uh, I actually got to commentate, which unfortunately the commentary is uh, locked behind a paywall on Panda X Gaming 2, so I don't even get to watch it. Unless I pay for it, which I might end up doing that just so I could record it. Did I make top eight? No, I made ninth. They only uh, they only stream top six. I made right outside of top eight. I fought against Zipstar and Texas, and uh, y'all are both turtling me. You mean trolling? <laughs> Keep it? No, nah, man. I mean, I got, I got, uh, I told you I'd send you the leftover back. I don't mind at all. But yeah, okay, so that was the Super Nintendo. It's now modded. It'll now work with Super Famicom games, which I did not pass this one up at the expo. This, this was what I used five of the bucks on. And I used 20 on this one, which was, uh, Man, I, I really didn't want to spend money like that, but I saw it, and it said 30 on it, and it was the last hour of the uh, of the expo, and uh, the guy was like, you can have it for 20, and I'm like, 20? <laughs> it was like twink twinkle in my eye. Five bucks for original Street Fighter 2 on Famicom, though, I really couldn't pass that one up for sure. I probably should have passed this one up. I can get it for 15 online, but it was right there, and I was like, man, I really want that. So now i got to go find another 12 bucks to buy a converter for NES, or um, what else? What else? Um, or I could buy a Super Famicom, or a, a, not a Super Famicom, just a Famicom to make that work. But yeah, so 25 right there, and then uh, the rest was spent on food. I shouldn't have bought those two things. I know. I'm the worst. Yeah, everything else was spent on food. And, uh... I... But yeah, I'm cleaning up this uh, cartridge here. Yeah, I'm streaming, Mama. What's up? Yeah. Yeah. I used the Q-tip to get in here. This uh, Actually, I'm going to save that. Um, okay. Okay. Because I'm going to open up this cartridge. Make sure it's through a board and all that. Uh, but yeah, that was that that little inside there, the little catch there was really dirty. I was bugging the crap out of me. The back's not exactly the prettiest either. But I'm gonna take some of this alcohol and kind of go over it with this Q-tip here. Try to clean up some of this dirt. Um, it's got a gold sticker on the back of it. And um. My friend uh, is dating a Japanese girl, and she knows Jap Japanese and kanji, and she said that was actually somebody's name. At first, she, sa uh, she said it said repo, and I was like, well, this doesn't really look like a repro cartridge. Just, it's got wear on it. Like You can see like a little spot right here from like sun damage, maybe? I don't know what that is, but we're going to try to clean that up a little bit, too. Uh, 
And you see, I'm I'm missing. I'm purposely missing the stickers to leave them. I mean, it's the cartridge itself that's dirty. And if the stickers are dirty, that's fine. I'll get a little bit on there. Don't want to smear any of it. But yeah, let's take this apart and um, make sure it's the real board, not a repro board. Which I looked at the prongs there, and those prongs look kind of bad. Uh, I looked at them a little late after I purchased, but um, yeah, maybe some uh, rubbing alcohol on the Q-tip will do it. Uh, where is my other bit? Here's my other bit. All right, this one should be the one that fits to take apart. Yes, sir, it does. Oh, no, I dropped it. Ugh. So we're done with the console bit. We'll put that one off to the side. We'll... Uh, open these up these game bits cost like two bucks on eBay unscrew and all it is is two little screws here you gave not lent 40 to have extra spinning man I really do I really do really 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 appreciate it dude I really do like for real um, if I didn't have that 40 bucks, I wouldn't have been able to eat. Well, I mean, I had I had canned goods and stuff with me, but, like, you know, the whole community was going out to, like, restaurants and whatnot, and I'm like, I want to go, but I can't, so I got to eat with everybody. So that was really good. Got steak and shake one time for, like, five bucks. Um, went to Whataburger for, like, eight spent uh what else did i spend money on um okay so we took the screws out here so we put them off to the side now we can open up the cart huh all right well yeah this uh is not a repro that's that looks pretty. That's in pretty good condition. Uh, the board that is, um, as you can see here on the board itself, it says 1990 Nintendo. So I'm pretty sure uh, that that's not a repro. Usually repro carts are black. The boards are black most of the time. So yeah, that's uh, the official original board. It's in pretty damn good condition on the inside, but those uh. Ugh, you can see all that gunk. So we'll take this Q-tip and a little bit of this alcohol, and just which should still have alcohol on it, and try to get some of this gunk off. Which probably works even better if you just keep the damn thing together because then you don't have to worry about overshooting. But and it's a little quicker that way. But this is a little easier way to make sure you you can detail, get the detail. Now, see, as far as Famicom goes, I've never taken apart. I've never taken apart a Super Famicom to get, uh, game until now. But Famicom, usually on the NES, the uh, the screws are you got three screws and five screws. On this, I only kind of see one screw, and it's behind this label here, so I'm not gonna mess with it. I'm not gonna take it apart. Pretty sure it's the original though. And that looks pretty dirty itself, and I'm not even going to be able to test it until like a week or two, or even longer than that, depending on if I can get, um, what's it called? A converter cart. I'll probably just go with the converter cart. It's cheaper than buying a, a full Famicom. But yeah, okay. So we're going to finish... This right here, cleaning the uh, the pins here with the alcohol. 
I'm going to take the dry side and kind of go over them a bit. Make sure they're nice and clean, about the best I can get them. And we'll put the cartridge back together. We'll plug up the SNES and we'll see if this thing works. Who knows? I might do a speedrun right after that. <laughs> I mean, why buy it if you can't like do anything with it, right? <clears throat> so, all right, let's uh, get this bad boy back together. Sits in there just like that with the chip side down. All right. Put the screws back in. <clears throat> That's a Phillips head. <laughs> it's not my game bit. And then here we go. Screw it back in. Screw this one back in. Eep, 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 eep. Okay, got it in there nice and tight. All right, now let's plug uh, let's plug in the Super Famicom and Super Famicom. <laughs> let's plug in the SNES and uh, see uh, what we get. So uh, let's switch to this right quick. Move my tools out of the way. All right, there's that, and there's that. Power cord. Uh, I'll set this back over here. Throw this in there. Undo my controller. There, yeah, I'm gonna switch to this scene here, and I have to let's see. Plug it. Unplug the Wii. Uh, or unplug the uh, K the composite for the Wii. Plug in the composite for the SNES. Plug in the power for the SNES. Is that might already be plugged in? Oh, it is. Sweet. Let's see. Turn on the TV here. Come on, don't be a piece of crap. Work. Yes, sir. It was very nice of him. Otherwise, I probably wouldn't have been able to win. Let's try it with a regular game to make sure the damn thing still works, period. Uh oh. I might have messed something up while taking it apart. I uh, hope not. Oh shit, that's not good. <laughs> okay, well it works. Okay, still working.
Hey, there we go. Nice. Let's do a speed run. <laughs> oh, you ain't gotta do that. Shit. You don't need to do that. I appreciate what you did give me. I know you said that, but shit. I'm glad for what you did give me, man. Like like I said, uh, man, it got me to... It got me there. Got me this awesome game. I had a pretty good weekend. Uh, I got to hang out with friends. Uh, I got to see Bass. Got to see Menzo. Which, uh, I mean, I barely got to see Bass. But, you know, that's Bass for you. He's a little Hollywood, so. Alright. Bro! I never owned the original SF. To just SF2 Turbo. Now I have the original. And it's the Japanese version. Oh, I'm so excited right now. And I just, uh, I still got 10 in my PayPal. Uh, and then if I put this 5 in, I'll have 15. That should be enough to uh, get the uh, converter for Rockman 2. So that way I can do speedruns on real hardware. Ah! Oh my gosh, what are we doing right now? Oh, it's in Japanese. <laughs> 